She went through it with her mum. I'm going through it with my mum. The words of Maxine's daughter as her mother struggles with Alzheimer's. It's scary to think that my children will have to go through that potentially with me as well. While Katie doesn't know if she has the gene putting her at risk of developing the condition, she thinks it's likely. New research suggesting hormone replacement therapy, known as HRT, may help prevent it, has given her hope. We're losing people in our lives prematurely because of this. Um, And, you know, she's well physically, and it's truly heartbreaking to see to see the progression of the illness. So the difference that it would make, I think for for lots of people in my position would just be to, to, to keep their loved ones in their lives for longer. The research still needs clinical trials, but could potentially help millions of women. Almost two in three people with Alzheimer's are women, and one in four women in the UK are carriers of the APOE4 gene, a strong risk factor for the disease. Those behind the study say the benefits of HRT for women with the risky gene include better memory, particularly if used early. The menopause itself is is quite draining for brain function and and the decline in oestrogen, which happens during the menopause, does seem to really affect a number of physiological processes in the brain. And I think, you know, once you can actually get HRT in before those physiological processes occur or before what we call neuropathology, which is the development of of the early signs of disease in the brain, once you can initiate HRT before that starts, I think HRT is much more likely to be effective. Dementia is a rapidly growing threat to future health and social care across the world. While this could help, at the heart of it, is a desire to be with the people we love for longer. Lisa Dowd, Sky News.